of the 20 fences this time instead of the normal 22. And setting off at a pretty good bat they are too, considering they've got uh, three miles and an extended five furlongs and a faller. And it looks as though it was Indian tonic and went, went at the first, and, uh, went at the bend down in the first and it was Indian tonic. Indian tonic slipped up on that bend. They were going a, a real gallop into it. And so we've lost one of the young, promising contenders, the seven-year-old uh, Indian Tonic. And he's uh, upside's uh, Riverside boy now, the favorite. And let's hope he's going to run out and not uh, interfere with him or the remainder as they come to this first fence. Riverside boy jumps upside the riderless. Indian Tonic with a little gap then to Fiddler's Pike and then Cool Ground coming to the first of the four ditches and Riverside Boy landed in the lead there and very wisely uh, Indian Tonic uh, skipped the fence and uh, is going round the outside. That was the third Riverside Boy from Fiddler's Pike and Wilford and Cool Ground on the inside and then Merry Master and then uh, Sibton and behind uh, Sibton Abbey is Rufus. That was the water. Riverside Boy from Fiddler's Pike and Cool Ground and Willsford. Merry Master on the outside of Sipton Abbey and then Rufus. Number five. Riverside Boy from Fiddler's Pike, Cool Ground and Willsford. Merry Master, Sipton Abbey and Chris Maud is up all right after that uh, unfortunate fall on the level running down to the turn. A reminder there for Rufus and uh, the riderless Indian tonic has uh, run right out towards the outside. As they begin to swing on the f outside, out of the back stretch on the first circuit with Riverside Boy, the leader. Riverside Boy swings left-handed. Fiddler's Pike is in second and Cool Ground third. Four is Rufus with Wilsford five on his outside, then Merry Master and then Sipton Abbey. And keeping pace with them, but on a wide outside, is the riderless Indian Tonic. He's right out on the flat track. So they turn into the home stretch on the first circuit. This will be number six of the 20 fences in all. Riverside Boy lands in the lead from uh, Fiddler's Pike and Cool Ground. Rufus, Wilsford, Mary Master, Sipton Abbey, the back marker, the second of the ditches, and Riverside Boy from Fiddler's Pike and Cool Ground and Wilsford and Mary Master. And Rufus and Sipton Abbey is getting reminders there from Steve Smith Eccles as the leaders come to the next. Riverside Boy coming to the eighth with Fiddler's Pike upsides and then cool ground. Wilsford being punched along there, pushed along hands and heels by David Bridgewater. Rufus over on the far side. Merry Master comes next and then Sipton Abbey. Number 10, they're coming to now. Riverside Boy from Fiddler's Pike and Cool Ground and Rufus. Merry Master, Wilsford and Sipton Abbey. So they come down past the winning post with another complete circuit. And Riverside Boy, the favorite, the leader from Fiddler's Pike on the near side and Cool Ground on the far side. Then comes Rufus. Behind Rufus is Merry Master, then Wilsford and Sipton Abbey. And pretty well everything bar Riverside Boy and Cool Ground off the bridle now. As they got another complete circuit. Fiddler's Pike still going quite well though under Rosemary Henderson. They've got 10 left to jump. All the others being pushed along in this arduous ground. Sibton Abbey tailed off and looks as though he's going to be pulled up. They press this rise. It's Riverside Boy. Only six left now in it. Riverside Boy from Cool Ground. Wilsford being driven up on the outside of Fiddler's Pike. Then comes Rufus and then Merry Master. 
As they come to the next, number 11, Riverside Boy from Cool Ground and Wilsford, then Fiddler's Pike and Rufus. And Merry Master's gone there. Merry Master, out of it, a very bad mistake, gave G. Armitage no chance, third of the ditches, Riverside Boy from Cool Ground, then Wilsford and Fiddler's Pike, a slow jump there by Rufus, who appears to be towering. The 13th, Riverside Boy from Cool Ground, Fiddler's Pike and Wilsford, and all only just jumping it was Rufus. Coming to the water now, for the final time, of course, and Riverside Boy, the leader from Cool Ground and Fiddler's Pike, and Wilsford. Wilsford only just struggled over the water. Only just got over it. Coming down to the next. Six out, Riverside Boy. From Cool Ground, Fiddler's Pike, Wilsford just struggling over it. Rufus just struggling over it. The last over on the far side, which they miss, of course. Riverside Boy from Cool Ground, Fiddler's Pike, and then Wilsford. They've got five left to jump. G. Armitage is up all right after that fall. And Riverside Boy from Cool Ground, the big two in this Coral Welsh National, from Fiddler's Pike and Wilsford with way back Rufus. And racing towards the home turn now, Riverside Boy trying to become the fifth Martin Pipe Train winner in the last six years. Riverside Boy from Cool Ground, Fiddler's Pike battling on game, Leander Rosemary Henderson Wilsford a long way behind them and Rufus trying to get back into it now. But Riverside Boy comes to this five out. Clear of cool ground. Fiddler's Pike then Wilsford. The final ditch now. And as they come to it, it's Riverside Boy from cool ground. Fiddler's Pike and Wilsford. Riverside Boy cool ground. Fiddler's Pike Wilsford a distant fourth and Rufus just struggles over it. Three fences left to be jumped now in the Coral Welsh National and Riverside Boy, the leader, jumps it. One, two, three, four, five, six lengths clear of Fiddler's Pike who goes into second, cool ground, a toiling third, then Wilsford in four, coming down to the second last, Riverside Boy, well clear of Fiddler's Pike who's in second, cool ground is third, and then Wilsford four as they come down to the final fence now, and Riverside Boy just has to jump it. Riverside Boy, the favorite, comes to it, jumps it well, gets away from it, an enormous cheer. Fiddler's Pike jumps it second, cool ground jumps it third, only just gets over it, Wilsford jumps it four, and Rufus five, and racing up to the line, and Riverside Boy wins the Coral Welsh National of 1993 in very good style indeed. Riverside Boy, the winner. Second is Fiddler's Pike under a great ride from Rosebury Henderson. Third is Cool Ground. Fourth is Wilsford. And fifth is Rufus. They're the only finishers, and so the result. First, number four, Riverside Boy, owned by the Bisgrove Partnership, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Richard Dunwoody. Second was number six, Fiddler's Pike, owned by Mrs. Rosemary Henderson, trained by her and written by her. And third was number three, Cool Ground, owned by Whitcomb Manor Racing Stables, trained by David Ellsworth and written by Paul Holly. And fourth was number seven, Wilsford. Taking him up.